Here are the top three craziest saint stories. Number three is wild. Number one, there's the story of Saint Margaret of Antioch. She took a promise of virginity, but the governor at the time was annoyed by her refusal to marry him, so he locked her in prison. In between being tortured, Satan himself appeared to Margaret as a dragon and ate her. According to an account inside the dragon's stomach, Margaret was able to use the cross she carried to cut her way out from the inside and escape. Number two, the story of St. Christina the Astonishing. St. Christina appeared to have died at the age of 21, but at her funeral, her body suddenly levitated to the ceiling of the church. When the priest ordered her to come back down to her casket, she did so out of obedience to his authority, and she lived for 50 more years. Number three, the story of St. Dennis. St. Dennis was a gifted preacher. In fact, he was so good at converting people that the local pagans arrested him and had him beheaded. But to their surprise, St. Dennis picked up his severed head and walked away from the execution site with his detached head continuing to preach a sermon. Say what you want about St. Dennis, but you can't say he never got a head in life. So I love a crazy saint story as much as anybody. But we can't forget that the point of the saints isn't just for them to be spiritual heroes. The point is for them to be our examples. We shouldn't just like them, we should be like them. Sainthood is not a possibility for some, it's an expectation for all. If you found that helpful, you can check out my other reflections and my vlogs on YouTube and subscribe for future videos. God bless.